Hello YouTube. Hey guys, it's Sean here with Stealing Second. Coming to you this morning on my way to a local card show here in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Planning to meet up with a couple other YouTubers today. Uh, we'll see Triple Crown 24 JT and hopefully Card Over Stocks uh, Dakota. And uh, hopefully we can get a peeling back the scab in with Dakota today. It'll be the first time I ever meet him. I've uh, done some trading and buying from him over uh, Facebook. So hopefully get to meet, uh, meet Dakota today and uh, get to hang out with JT, which is awesome as always. So when I get to the show, I will uh, give you guys a little tour, show you some of the goodies, and uh, it's probably going to be a pretty big crowd today. So hopefully I'll be able to get you guys some good footage. Anyways. Hang tight, here comes the show. Buddy, you can't film it. Yeah. yeah. Guys, this guy's been pestering me all day. He keeps trying to get me in trouble, making me spend more money. That's what I was talking about. I think that the next gift. So here is the Fort Wayne Card Show. That's the one. Everybody's packing up. We are at the end of the day. I thought we was going to be done at 2 and I started packing all this stuff up. <laughs> A little early, huh? Yeah. Jumping the gun. <laughs> Jason's like one of the biggest PSA smitters there is. You know whatever you know. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, I mean. Uh, yeah. Yeah. There's no, well, I got the plastics, but then what I did is I just took, I took, uh, I was like cheap, like in the tops. Oh, okay. just, and I just double sided them so that way they stayed above the cases. I think I bought them. You know what I mean? It's like 40 or 50 of these for like 10 bucks or something like that. So, yeah. And then I just used some cheap, you know, commons to, to bring them up a little bit. So, like, he's got, he's got, and Bailey, he got a lot from Bailey, Bailey was sure. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, I'm trying to cut you off. Okay, fine. I remember being next to Bailey. Dave Bailey, remember? Yeah. So, me and Dave, Dave sat, was right next to me back in the day in Gibraltar, with, like, one little table hustling anything you could hustle. Yeah. He's just a hustler. He's a hustler. He's a hustler. <laughs> So it was like me, Bailey, Tuttle, and Coos were like all in the same realm in Detroit. So Tuttle didn't do this anymore. He turned down my 200 million first company. He's like, I don't need the money. You know what I mean? Oh, and he went to Florida. That's a good place to Yeah, he was down to Florida. That's a good place to be. Yeah, I had lunch with him a couple of years ago when I was there. I was supposed to go to Florida in early July. I called him like, hey, let's have dinner and lunch. He's like, if you come, we'll probably shut this down again. But as soon as you show up, I just have a whack. I got to adjust the back, though. I got to move stuff around. I was going to grab this one. So, yeah, we all. Actually, Jason Prince's father was a client of mine. Because Jason's 10 years younger than I am. So he would have been like, when I met his dad, Jason would have been like, 10, 12, 13, I mean, he was young. When he hit high school, he started buying and selling, and he was straight up. Yeah. He was straight up. He, he, was, he, he was buying, he had a navigator, so he was 18 in high school driving a navigator. And he was getting pulled in the principal's office, I thought he was a drug dealer. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you know, why was this house at 18? Yeah. You know what I mean? It's real. No, I'm saying this is different. Because Tuttle worked for Bailey at that time, and Jason worked for Bailey. Bailey wanted me to work for him. I just didn't want to move to Detroit. Jason's mate is, he's funny, is, uh, 
You guys mind if I film? Go ahead. Yeah, someone hooked me up with the table space. All right, guys, welcome back. I appreciate you uh, sticking around to see my haul from the card show today. I hope you enjoyed the, the walkthrough and I was able to show you some pretty cool cards from the card show. It was always a good time. Was able to hang out with JT, Triple Crown 24 for a bit. And uh, also uh, having JT there, he was able to work a couple deals uh, to get himself some cards and also help me uh, pick up a card that I really wanted. So this was one and the biggest pickup of the day. This is a card that I really wanted. To, to pick up at the show and uh, they, the guy had a pretty decent price on it but he was on the high end of comps and uh, I really couldn't get him to budge much on that card so I went and talked to JT um, and there was a couple cards that JT might be interested down there so JT was able to actually work a bundle deal and uh, we worked it out so I could get this Kyle Schwarber uh, this is a 2014 Bowman Chrome Draft Auto uh, in a BGS 9.5 with an autograph of 10. So I appreciate that. Thank you, JT. As always, my friend, can't say it enough. Appreciate your help. This is a pretty awesome card. Super, er, super thankful to get that. As you can see, that's the, the price he had on the card, but was able to get this in a bundle for $60 with JT's help. So awesome there appreciate that so let's jump through and I'll go through this lot and show you my pickups was able to pick up this Chase Strump Bowman first chrome auto as you can see I've got it ready to send off for grading for my Cubs PC so pretty stoked about that and guys just to let you know this is gonna be extremely Cubs heavy so uh, hopefully you'll hang in there and enjoy the Cubs cards I got this Bowman chrome Carl Edwards Jr. rookie card auto and a the green refractor numbered out of 99. You got that sent off or ready to be sent off for grading as well. And then this is one that I bought from JT. This is the Bowman Chrome Wilson Contreras Bowman Chrome first. Uh, I have this auto, this card in with the auto, but I did not have a graded version of this. JT said he had one that looked pretty clean and uh, it could have a good shot so I was able to purchase that from him and uh, hopefully we'll send that off and get a 10. Next up after that is this Topps Heritage Javi Baez Jorge Soler rookie card and this is the Heritage Rainbow Foil. I have never seen these cards before I don't know if this was only to 2015 or what if you guys know more information on this let me know um, I went ahead and picked this card up just because of the fact that uh, it was kind of rare to me. I've seen the Topps Heritage Chromes, but I've never seen the Rainbow Foil, so that was pretty awesome. I'm going to send that one off. Hopefully uh, that will gem. And then I picked up this Bowman Chrome first, Chris Bryant. I have several copies of this, but centering is awful on the ones I have. And this one actually looked really clean, so I went ahead and purchased this. And hopefully we can uh, pull a 10 out of this. Now we'll move on. I'll go away from some Cubs. I'll show you some non-Cub stuff that I picked up here. Picked up this Topps Chrome Pink, Cattell Marte, 
this was a pretty awesome pickup great card so I'm gonna send that one off to be graded I picked up this prism Kyle Lewis rookie card the purple refractor or I guess it's not a refractor it'd be the purple prism uh, with a panini product but yeah that was a pretty cool pickup also picked up this Eloy Jimenez this is a silver pack blue and it is numbered out of 150 so that was a pretty cool card as well this uh, pro debut Manny Machado this Bowman Joey Votto Bowman first Mike Moustakis the Moose Bowman Platinum Moustakis Moustakis is one of those guys I kind of think is underrated so I like to pick his cards up you can usually get them pretty cheap so it's it's definitely a fun pickup for me uh, Fernando Tatis pro debut Alonzo or Pete Alonzo pro debut and then this uh, Allen and Ginner Joey Votto rookie card the Panini Prism Trevor Bauer rookie card I've uh, recently became more and more of a fan of Trevor Bauer lately um, I enjoy watching him pitch and uh, I've recently found his YouTube channel and have been watching that and uh, it's actually pulling me to be more of a fan of this guy so um, I've started piecing in some more of his stuff so that's pretty cool this David Fletcher X Fractor this is a guy that I think is extremely underrated um, in the hobby he is an angel he's, he's tough if you guys go watch some highlights of this guy uh, he's pretty of amazing guy I don't know why he doesn't get a little bit more hobby love and uh, that's not the price of this guy um, or yes it is I didn't pay that I paid a dollar for this card but anyways moving on picked up this Justin Verlander rookie card the Fleer rookie sensations it was a pretty cool card the Bowman first Walker Bueller the Hot Rods Wander Franco this is a pretty cool card and it's really clean I've gone back and forth on maybe submitting this one I'm not sure and then this JJ Blade. this is a prospect that I think uh, has some pretty good potential so I've been picking his cards up here and there when I find them for cheap alright moving on into the cub stuff so sorry guys I don't have pricing on all this stuff I can't remember what the prices was for everything most of the stuff was bought in bundles so um, just know it was pretty inexpensive for everything uh, this is the Ian Happ Triple Threads, Triple Relic Auto, numbered out of 75. Ian Happ is a guy that's looking pretty awesome for the Cubs. I, I'm becoming a bigger, bigger fan and collecting more of Ian Happ's cards. And they're one of the few Cubs cards that are still semi-affordable. Um, a lot of the players' cards are just going through the roof. I picked up this Asia Black Kyle Schwarber Bowman first. This card's pretty sick. Um, I like to pick up these black ones when I find them. Um, they, they, I don't come across them too much, and usually when you do, they're pretty beat up. Uh, for some reason, with that black border, it just shows everything, and they just seem to be uh, a little rougher around the edges. And then this one's going to be a little controversial. It's uh, the Addy Russell rookie card auto um, with the, the stuff that's out about him. You know, I'm I. I have a hard time not being or not separating what he did from his playing I enjoyed watching him play and you know the, the cards are very cheap and pretty cool so I went ahead and picked up these two um, uh, regardless of what I feel he did off the field um, you know there's no excuse for it but went ahead and picked those up then this archives Javi Baez this is a pretty sweet card rookie card the uh, 18 gold Javi Baez. These are the updates. The All-Star Game. Javi Baez. Another gold. And those are numbered out of 2018. And then these chrome ones here of Javi Baez. Sorry, I'm moving everything around. These were included in a purchase I did from JT with the Wilson Contreras. So he included the Topps Chrome Refractor Javi Baez. The Sepia Javi and then the base hobby so that was pretty awesome nice little run at the rainbow right there so thank you JT again and then this 2017 Javi Baez Topps Chrome Refractor um, I gotta say guys if you look at like the 
earlier chrome compared to today's refractors the the regular refractors are kind of boring compared to how they used to be like in 17 and 16 um, it's kind of depressing a little bit it's kind of like tops is doing the bare minimum compared to like panini i know panini doesn't have the licensing but speaking of panini look at like the detail they put in their cards man they just go above and beyond make them really cool a couple sandbergs picked up here i believe they're numbered 199 and 299 so that's pretty cool and speaking of panini again this chris bryant i mean just look how much cooler those are than like a base refractor from 2020 tops you know panini goes a little above and beyond and i gotta say i dig it even though i have a hard time without the licensing picked up this uh tops chrome chris bryant this is a pretty sweet card the perspectives I believe this is a stadium club. I might be wrong, but I think that came, it's a insert stadium club. Then the Bowman first Chris Bryant paper here. As you can see, the centering. This is the biggest issue, <clears throat> excuse me, the biggest issue you see in these cards is that centering. It's kind of crazy. And then I picked up this Bowman Platinum Purple Kyle Schwarber out of 250. So that's pretty cool. Picked up the uh, pink rookie, Kyle Schwarber. I've been kind of making a run at the rainbow on his rookie card, so um, I don't have any of the the numbered stuff yet, just uh, kind of the sepia here, the pink, um, like the prism and the re regular refractor. So eventually I'll jump into the color stuff, but I like to buy this stuff in person when I come across it in the show. And and see they had them priced at three dollars each here i think i paid a dollar each for those and then this was also one that was included in the package from jt another kyle schwarber rookie card from bowman and then this gypsy queen kyle schwarber was in there as well and then just a chrome john lester i like to collect each one of the active cubs players uh their base cards along with their inserts so let's move on here we got a Fleer Ultra Sammy Sosa it's a pretty cool card we got a relic from Alfonso Soriano chasing history so that's pretty cool some Nico Horners here the Bowman the select got this red white and blue prism and then some base chrome always nice Adbert Azale this is the mojo a Travis Wood Sepia. I just thought this was a pretty cool card. I love the 2011. And then the 2018 tops, Victor Carantini rookie card base. And then this Wilson Contreras Stadium Club Chrome. These are pretty cool how they put the little dots in the background. Very cool cards. This purple Contreras. Now the Heritage Black Wilson Contreras. It's a pretty awesome card. I actually uh, just picked this card up, graded off of eBay, but it hasn't been shipped out yet. So eventually I'll have the base graded. And then Mark Zagunas Bowman. Christian Villanova. You guys are probably wondering who these guys are. And Aidman. Um, they really didn't do much. This is a refractor. Uh, but I just kind of included them in the lot to make my uh, my bundling a little a little bigger So here's some stuff that was a little bit more fun um, And a little bit more geared to my Rizzo PC um, So before I jump into these I wanted to talk so I did a um, live cast with uh, Triple Crown 24 JT over Hobby Palooza about super collecting and this is something that's kind of newer for me for super collecting I'll do a video in the future kind of showing um, I don't really talk about it you guys all know I collect Cubs and Rizzo um, but I have been starting kind of a, a super collection I haven't been going crazy with it um, I kind of focus on more of the mid and lower tier stuff uh, just because everything's so crazy in price right now but uh, I, you know I'm not up there in the thousands of cards yet I think I have a few hundred of Anthony Rizzo cards but I'll do a video at a later time just kind of showing that super collection. So uh, this has just been something that's a little bit more fun for me. So Anthony Rizzo, Chris Bryant, Museum Collection, Double Relic, numbered out of 50. 
very cool card then this Don Russ numbered out of 487 I believe this is some kind of hollow prism um, not sure what they call them they have so many different versions and names I don't know uh, but that one's really cool and then I got the pro debut Anthony Rizzo with the sea dogs that's one that I need to pick up graded um, that one that I just showed you the centering has some centering issues and then this one was really awesome with the Addy Russell, Jason Hayward, Rizzo, numbered out of nine, triple relic from Triple Threads. I'm a huge fan of Triple Threads, so, you know, that's a thick card. These are really cool. Um, it'll be very awesome to have a low number. And finally, you get a relic that has multiple colors in it instead of just a plain Jane colors, or every now and then you get a pinstripe like in this museum collection. But I have this museum collection here. Um, with Anthony Rizzo, Kyle Schwarber, Jason Hayward, and John Lester numbered out of 99. This one's really cool. This is kind of the typical relics from the Cubs. You get solid colors, maybe a pinstripe every now and then. Uh, so it's, it's kind of neat, but I mean, kind of boring also. But anyways, so that's that. And then the last stack here, we got this Bowman, Anthony Rizzo, purple, numbered out of 250. Then the Deco Edge Heritage, Anthony Rizzo. I really like these cards. They just remind me of, you know, the original vintage cards, so it's pretty awesome. Then the Topps Gold, Anthony Rizzo, numbered out of 2020. And then the 2015 Mother's Day Pink, Anthony Rizzo, numbered out of 50. Was able to pick this up. Actually picked this card up for $5, so that was a huge win for me. Um, the only reason why was there was one corner that was wonky. That corner right there is a little jacked up. So that gave me a little bit more leeway to uh, work a better price on this card. So that's what I got for you guys. I appreciate it. I, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the pickups. Leave a comment. Let me know. And I will talk to you guys soon. Have a great one.